Hi, tonight we're going to talk about the art of self-realization. The art of self-realization is to be satisfied and at peace where you are with what you have. It is effortless because what you discover is that you are already what you are, which is awareness. It takes place when we stop identifying with the identity that the ego created. We then start to perceive from the soul and the divinity within in a spiritual dimension. In the spiritual element, there is no high or low, past or future. There is only the present moment. Therefore, the intention is to experience who you are in the present with no excuse to do anything else. If you are studying, working, or playing, that is who you are at the moment. Even though the gains acquired are short-lived, they are transient to a longer-lasting realization. That is why self-realization is living our life in the present and forgiving ourselves for not being aware before realization. We did well removing the conduct that blocked our spiritual growth and put in actions that nourish spirituality and realization. Franklin D. Roosevelt said, The only limit to our realization of tomorrow will be our doubts of today. Rama Maharishi said, Your own self-realization is the greatest service you can render to the world. Osho said, Truth is not something outside to be discovered. It is something inside to be realized. Self-realization is the individual process of becoming our true self that makes us whole. We have our inner environment and our outer environment, which are two sides of the same coin. They both are forces that create our behavior as humans, the inner and outer, two pieces of a greater whole. Self-realization is the awareness in our consciousness of our spiritual, creative, intellectual, and physical potential socially through spiritual awareness and not externally towards money, status, or power. We make ourselves weak with lack of self-realization because we reject our spiritual side and our encounter with reality. We are not taking maximum advantage of our abilities to reach our full potential. It not only gives awareness of our body on the outside, but also about our health internally. This balance teaches us to think and solve problems, not what to think to get ahead. The intellect illuminates our soul inside, and the soul illuminates ourself outside. When we, are pu when we are puzzled, it is solved, we experience happiness. Rama Maharishi said, Happiness is your nature. It is not wrong to desire it. What is wrong is seeking it outside when it is inside. Walt Whitman said, do anything, but let it produce joy. Latsu said, there are many paths to enlightenment. Be sure to take one with a heart. We all have different perceptions of reality, and not one of them is better or worse than the others. We just have to experience <clears throat> Excuse me. Our rea have to experience our reality honestly and wholeheartedly and it will take us to peace and happiness. Like I said before, we are all on the beach watching the light of the sun shine on the water to each of us on different paths. But they all lead to the sun. Happiness is not a belief or attainment. It is an experience, a self-realization that wakes us up. Now, one thing changes but our perspective changes. It does not come from the mind, but from the spirit and changes the mind. 
Our mind thinks in three dimensions, but our spirit experiences in multi-dimensions. So a spiritual experience has to be experienced not by thought. A thought is energy in 3D. So instead of losing ourselves in concepts, words, and theories the, that limit us, we need the, act, the actual spiritual experience and see what happens. 3D consciousness is on the physical level with a deficiency in higher experiences. So it is burdened with desires and lack of awareness. Everything is consciousness or vibrating at different levels. Cells, rocks, plants, animals, and humans. On the lower level of consciousness, we have disharmony and a lack of awareness because our consciousness is on a small scale. It is not bad. It is just where we are with experience. And we will evolve to a higher level when we are tired at the level we are at. We question ourselves and our beliefs and it focuses within the spirit. This is self-realization where we see how our past affected our present. So we heal by letting go of the past, which improves our health and well-being. Socrates said, the unexamined life is not worth living. Shakespeare said, It is not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. Rumi said, Peaceful is the one who is not concerned with having more or less, unbound by name and fame. He is free from sorrow from the world and mostly from himself. With self-realization, we are not held down with unconscious negativity. So we see things as they are, with clarity, and not as we are told or want them to be. This true understanding is not from books, but by aligning and harmonizing with consciousness at a higher level. This expands our mind and raises our vibration on the physical plane, with a perspective, meaning, and purpose, so we understand the difference between action and reaction. We acknowledge and celebrate our connection to everything in consciousness, founded in love, compassion, and joy. We learn to not force things, but to let them go, and we go with the, fl with the flow, because there is no need to push the river. The river is flowing, and we flow too with love and compassion, because we are in it, the river of love illuminates our physical and mental being, which improves our health as it flows to spirituality. Dipping our toes in this river helps us to see our spiritual journey and to enjoy it in order to dive deeper in with self-realization. Latsu said, Those who flow as life flows know they need no other force. He also said, be still like a mountain and flow like a great river. Jay-Z said, be the flow. Thank you.